perfect. All right, fine. All right, so we're starting. Uh, good morning, we're starting with Basra and Hashutfin, and away we go. Hashutfin Sharatsu Lasa is you can tell us the year that is if you like. So Hashutfin Sharatsu Lasa is Mechitsa, the Chatser, Biden as a Kaisa Biamsa. So it says over there that two partners, two people each, uh, each person owns uh. Here we go. Sorry about that. So, top line. So it says two partners that want to go ahead and divide the land. We'll soon explain the delush and the Gemara. Um, they build a wall in the middle. In other words, they build a wall in the middle. Each one owns on their on their side, and therefore we say that um, each one has to donate their half. In other words, whatever half is wherever the fence is going, whatever the size of the fence or the wall will be built on both of their properties. So So it depends what type of, of stone they use, right? They use the uh the, the wide stone or the uh the smooth stone or the half stones or the whole stone or the whole bricks, right? Or the half bricks or whole bricks. So but they and how cold come in and everything, whatever the, the minimum makam is, that's the type they the 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 style they they build. And what's nafkamina in terms of this, the, what type of stone? So gvil is a nice thing. Gvil tefachim is a nice thing. Gvil tefachim. So a gvil wall, an unsmoothened uh, stone wall. So that is actually six tefachim wide. So therefore, each one would donate three tefachim of their own yard space uh, towards the the building of the wall. And because he's a nice thing, tefachim metzav and is a nice thing, tefachim mechetsa. And when it comes to the uh, gazis, right, the smoother stones, so those each one gives two and a half tefachim. When it comes to the half bricks, right, because they 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 uh, mortar them together, they attach them together, which takes a little more space. So each one gives two tefachim, and when it comes to bricks, and I say tefachim, those are three tefachim wide, and therefore each one donates a tefachim and a half. If the wall falls down, therefore if the wall falls down, the wall. The bricks, the space is divided evenly by the two uh, the, the two neighbors on the field. Oh, hey. Whoa, in unison. This time. <laughs> oh, man. So too, we see by a garden. You got a garden that's attached by two, uh, two neighbors. So the garden also, the fence is in. Or the wall has to be, uh, is built in between. And Malcolm Shinagu, a league door, Mechaivino, so. And a place where the minog is to go ahead, and everyone has a private fence, and one guy doesn't want to do it. You can't obligate the other person to go ahead and uh, and, and and force him to go ahead and build it. A vaba bico when it comes to a valley. So when it comes to a garden, we'll, we'll soon see people don't like when people look. You know they're gonna you know uh, uh, give an ein hara right to, to, to the, the crops are growing well and jealousy, and they don't want it. To, so therefore. But an open field is not necessarily anything grown there. A Malcolm Shinago Shalaligdo in Machaivanasa. If the Minhog is not Tina Pili, people leave it open. Then you do not have to go ahead and build a fence. Ella in Ratsa, rather only if they want, kind of the Shalom. If he wants to go ahead and get his own privacy, then he can go ahead and build on his part of the land, right? Shalom. And then he can go ahead and build it. And then basically put a sign recognizing that if this wall comes down. It's not something that's divided between two neighbors and then the lot line is between the two neighbors. Rather, the entire wall was uh, on his side as stated, uh, I guess, ingrained into the wall. Therefore, therefore, if the wall fell down, then the space of where the wall stood and the stones would belong to the guy whose property was on. And he must have been right? And they do it with both their consent, then if they want to go ahead, no, they don't do it, but they say, if they want to go ahead and do it, then go ahead and build it in the middle. Then basically, you know, make half the wall on each side. Therefore, in that scenario, if they both want to do it, and they, and they both divided the uh, the space and the uh, the expenses, therefore, both the space uh, and the stones and the materials Belong to are evenly divided. Fine. So So what does it mean? Why? Why are there two cases? The case of the chutzur, the case of the gina. Why does? So let's see why there's chutzur and gina. Why? What is the difference between a chutzur, which the uh, chara is a courtyard to one's house, and and a garden is the chara space where people grow crops, right? Or or right. So let's see what the difference is. All right. So svuro. 
My mechitza. What does it mean, mechitza? Shuja shabrotz last is mechitza. What does that mean? So good. That means a wall. In the tiny, as we've seen another uh, another cases, as we learned in another brace, it says mechitza sakem shenikitza. Let's say you have a, a wheat field and the uh, person plans and wants a vineyard up against that wheat field. So if the wall mechitza sakem shenikitza and it comes down, I know they tell the owner of the vineyard, uh, uh, Godur, go ahead and build, put your wall back up because I do not want to grow. Your vineyard, your your vines against my wheat because it's an issue of kilayim. Yeah. So they can't be next to each other. So build your wall. So Chaz of goes uh, uh, once again, it, it, it falls back down, and Amarloi Gedar, and he tells him to go ahead and build a wall. And okay. then the guy is Nisiyish Haimena, the owner of the wall, uh, the owner of the vineyard says, "You know, I'm not going to build it again." Like so therefore the guy is chayv to go ahead and reimburse the guy from the wheat because now the wheat is useless because it is a kilai akar. So what do you see from here? The word bechitza is a wall, right? It has to be referring to a wall here because it has to be something that separates the two sides. The top of the ratsu, the only reason is because in our mission says if they if they both want, hollow ratsu, they don't want, then you can't go ahead and obligate them to put up a wall. Alma, hezikriya, lav shmehezik. You see over here, so now this is going to be the topic we're going to be discussing today, is whether Hezek Ria, Hezek Ria is the damage of my, my yard being open. In other words, people don't like uh, others, uh, you know, they don't have their privacy, uh, prying in. They, have, they want their privacy. And therefore, um, you know, whether it's for uh, Ayin Haras, or they just want to be private, or they don't feel comfortable, it's just a, a sort of damage if, um, you know, I don't have my privacy. So do we say... That since you know you're my neighbor, so you should also be responsible, you know, for the area for the privacy. But we see over here, if they both don't agree to it, then you can't force the other guy to go ahead and build a um, uh, to build a wall. Alma has it really Ashmei has it. I've aimed a mechitza. Let's say the word mechitza is not necessarily a wall, but plugsa. Maybe it just means a division. The kedichsi vati mechitza right? saida. Right, so it says over there when they they you know they they divided the congregation, right? Um, uh, right, they, they, you know they, they were they were dividing amongst. So maybe it's a division, not necessarily building a wall. The cave and the rasa, since they both want to divide, then bring us the kaisel Since once they both said, okay, let's go ahead and divide it, then you can force the other guy to go ahead and build a wall. Alma, what do you see over there? Hezekiah, Shmei Hezek. According to this, is Mashma. They once you agree to divide it. Now you have to go ahead and build a wall because you're looking to my property is damaging. So Yehachi, I sharot the last size mechitza. So then the last of the Mishnah Tzimtzum said that they both wanted to build a mechitza. Sharot the last size mechitza. She said they wanted to divide, right? Lay Ella my guda. Rather, what is it? We say it's guda. Rather, the 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 Mishnah uh, means what we initially thought. That means guda means uh, uh, they both agreed to build a wall. So if that's the case, so it says but the Kaisel, but you know some it shouldn't be that they, they says like build a wall. They already said wall, right? They said, you know, they agreed to make a wall, build a wall. Why did you say build it? If they agreed to build a wall, they should build it together, right? What's why does it say bonus the kaisel? Why does it say bonus everybody like so Ella Itana? So rather say like this, Itana, Iso, Havamina, Masipa Bialma. Maybe I would have thought, and if they would have said, okay, then they build it, maybe it means that they could have had just some sort of you know, a boundary divider, right? So you put the yellow spray or something like that to divide the two, not necessarily something that goes uh, something that goes vertical. So therefore, it says they build the wall because once you agree to divide it, you want to agree to, you know, to have a wall, then you build a wall that goes up in order to prevent uh, that. Fine. And then we said the two dots, uh, third of the way down, biting this a kaisa biensa. You go ahead and they build a wall on both their uh, both their lands and they divide the um, the expenses. So it's obvious. Lord says no. Let's see how the kadam chad for us the chavre. Maybe one of them was the one who was like nudging the the other neighbor. Let's go ahead and build a fence. Build a fence in front of the other guy. Gave him. So Mount Zimmer, what would you have said? Mount Zimmer, like he's about to look up, be happy with the Swiss lady, so I'd say look up. But maybe, right, that which he agreed to for him to go ahead and do it is that he's uh, only the okay, we're going to go ahead and divide it, but I don't want to go ahead. Um, 
you know, uh, you know, to, uh, to, to what's it called? Yeah, I, I would basically allow you to go ahead and build a wall, but not necessarily go ahead and partake in the expenses or the space of the wall. I just agree. Okay, you drive me nuts. I'll allow you to do it. So maybe you would have said that since one of the guys was the one who initiated it, maybe it's upon him if he wants to go ahead and do it. The other guy's just allowing him to do it. Kamash Walad, that they both have to contribute equally. Now, they yeah, want, that's that's if they have it on fifty percent of each person's land. But if this guy just puts it on, he wants a wall and he puts it right up to the next guy's property, like most people do. So and you're saying, right? He doesn't have to pay so, anything, right? So over here, so right, so we're not talking about the case. So that was the case that we said over there. If the if if you cannot know, it's if the standard was you could force the guy. So even though you're the one doing it, sure. if the if, if the right if the minog was that you know both people do it. Right, and we say that Hezek Ria is Hezek, then you could allow, you could force the other person to do it. Right, otherwise, build on your land and, and then you know mark it up that's yours. So now the Gemara is going to question Hezek Ria, but Hezek Ria loves Hezek. and you're telling me that you can't force the guy because it's damaging to go ahead and build it. So Tashma, <coughs> come and listen. So it says Vachain Gino. It says so too by a garden. Right. So anyone, wants to know why? By a garden, we see that uh, you can go ahead and uh, you can, uh, the, uh, the wall should be built, right? So you see why should the wall be built, right? No other reason than for Hezekiah. You don't want people looking at the garden. So our answer is no. Shani, uh, Gina Shani. No, a, a garden is different because the Rabbi Abba. It's forbidden for a person to stand uh, by, uh, you know, someone's crops. As they're uh, 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 you know, as, as they're growing, as they're in, in, in its height, because uh, a person will uh, you know uh, give an ayin hara and uh, and perhaps cause a loss to the owner. So therefore, you see that there is right. So a garden is especially sensitive to those that stand around it. It's the person's parnasa. So therefore, uh, in that case, we allow. But maybe your own private yard. Maybe there's no hazard So the, uh, the point is that. Uh, it's not just a separation of property. Now there's a purpose behind it. Correct. Right. So for sure by a garden. And now we're trying to prove if that's, in other words, if the reason of the mission is you can force, the, in other words, that you can force them to go ahead and build a wall to do it. Or is it only the target situation of where they both agree to do it? And this is how you have to go ahead and do it. I have a v'chein katani. It says v'chein. It says so too. By a garden. Now, the garden is just like a house in a regular courtyard. It's like, that's referring to the type of fence or the type of wall that you build uh, that is, you know, just like when it comes to a courtyard, so too it comes to a field. So, Tashma, Kaiso, Chatsa Shinafa, Machayna, so leave nice. Al Dalaramos, you have a wall that fell, let's say, between two uh, two properties. So, you obligate to go ahead and build it up to Dalaramos. So, I I have to build it. It must be because it has a Kriya. Sigmar says, no, not full shiny when it, and it, when it falls down. So therefore, since we once agreed upon it, so you got to go ahead and put it back just like it was before. So I have the Kari law, my Kari law. Okay, that's a good tarot. So, so what was happening? Why would you think that all of a sudden, like you used to, you know, you agreed to a wall, but now since it fell down, you don't have to agree to it anymore. So when I says, no, safety it's We need it for the safer, right? Because this is me, It's only up to Dalad Amos. Above Dalad Amos, then... Uh, you you have uh, uh, fulfilled your obligation. So Tashma, come on, listen. Kaifin, so leave nice. Beishar, Vedelas the Chatzir, a person, let's say, whose entrance weight into the courtyard is open up into the Shus to wrap him, and therefore we require him to go ahead and build a uh, uh, like a Beishar, like a gatehouse and a door to the Chatzir, so people can't uh, gaze in from the Shus to wrap him into the shared courtyard. So you can force the person to do it. So I Shmami no Hezek Ria Shmei Hezek. So why can you force it to do it? it? Must be because people will be able to go ahead and see in the courtyard, and people want privacy in the courtyard. So therefore, Hezek Ria, the damage you're seeing is considered to be a real legitimate damage. So where it says no Hezek the Rabbi Mishani. No, if it's from it's one thing if a person walks by and can see it. It's another thing if the Shusa Rabbin can see into it. Then there is much more. You know, then there is literally you know no privacy, and therefore everyone would agree that that's considered to be Shmei Hezek. I would be that Kama Homer goes the other way. That what? No, no, if the people sing from it. Yeah, that, I mean, people, so people can see in the courtyard and they'll sing. That's a general side. Can be you specifically between us. It would seem to be that the Hezek is even more. Why? Why? 
because we're right across from each other. You know, we're, we're getting it's much more of an intimate relationship. So, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna touch upon something, but the, 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 the you know the smart over here is you know if two people see what I'm doing, yeah. that's one right. thing. So but if you know knows your business, if a hot right, yeah, right. right. So that that would be the couple. Couple. We'll see at the end of today's that right at the top of the page. We'll see. We'll we'll see your right. points. We we are concerned about Chesed Kriya by the Putzer, and we're more concerned about the separation of crops by a Dino. Well, it's not really a separation of crops. It's that a person doesn't want his crops being viewed by other people. Or right. Train of gold. Right. All right. But the, but not even the fact, but just to see it. Right. In other words, we don't want people to see it because then they're, they're gonna you know have like a you know Ein Hor on it. So there's so we are we're still talking about Kazakh Korea. Yeah, the, the, right now we, we the, right the Gemara just said right before the the Simon right there was like six different kashas right Gina Kaisel Kaifin Cholkin Cholainis and Rav Nachman those six questions are the case of uh, were we trying to prove that Hezek Ria, right that just seeing it is a, a, an actual damage and therefore you could you know obligate a person to, uh, financially to prevent them. So touch back and listen. In Cholkin as a chotzer ad sheba dalaramos. It says two people go ahead and share a small little land. So you can't force ad sheba dalaramos. Let's have dalaramos. You can't force unless each one has at least dalaramos. You know, force ramos to go ahead and plant. Ah, yesh bach today. Right, lezav today, lezav. But in other words, you can't force them until they have dalaramos. But once they have dalaramos, then you could Cholkin. So my lab, okay, so is it that you see you divide it, right? Two parties they divide it because each one can do it, and therefore you have to put up a wall. Is it not because it has a Korea? So God says, no, no, but me fist beyond. No, it just means like a, a, a marker. You put a little marker in the ground. Uh, so to know this is the boundary between the two, but it actually is not a wall to prevent from walking from one to the other or sink from one to the other. So touch my colors and I light a spade the middle of the matter, bang, connect and dot amos. So the windows, whether they're above or below or next to it, the windows of each other, dial it out. So you need to go ahead and distance dial it out. So a, 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 um, so over here, so if let's say you have the uh yeah, so he says over here, so uh so let's say the person built a wall right next to the guy's window. So you can't build it within basically dial it out. Not above it, not uh, below it, and if it's next to it, then you have to uh, dial amos away from it. So it says milamata. The reason why, if it's of a kadesh lo yotzi, it's vira milamata because a person's wall is over here and the guy's window is down here to his house. So maybe he'll be able on his wall and you know go down a little bit and look into the guy's house. So therefore, you can't uh, do it that way. Kadesh lo yamad vira connected. And uh, excuse me, I was going to say, it's Vira. Milamat, if it's below, Kadesh Lo Yamad Vira, right? If it's four down below, if it's less than four down below, we're afraid a person will stand upon it to look inside. And the connect on if it's next to the window, then you have to distance it down Amas, Kadesh Lo Yamad Vira, you know, that won't get too dark. So you have to distance it, your wall away from his window. So I, the whole thing is with the wall, it has to be at least. More than four hours below, or more than four hours above, so the person won't be able to gaze into your house. Ah, you see, it has a grievance. But the answer is no. By is shunning. When it comes to a house, then that's you know mamish uh, privacy, and therefore everyone would agree that a bias a house really requires privacy. So touch Michael was the Yamar of Nachman in the last case. Some Shmuel Gaga, some So let's say you have a roof that's next to a courtyard. So the chazer chaveru oisilay maka. You have to go ahead and build a maka fence around the roof on top. Go about dalaramos. Why is that? So you can't look in the courtyard. Dalaramos, right? Dalaramos. So the Gemara says shani hasam diamer le bal is you saying it's supposed to tenth vachim, right? That's what you're saying, right? So he says shani hasam diamer le bal chazer. The owner of the field can say the bal god. Let d d when it comes to me kvili tashmishi. Now it's by me, right? So, in other words, I'm always in the yard, right? I'm always in the yard. I'm always using it. So, therefore, right, you know I'm always here. So, if you want to do something private on your roof, right, you're you're aware that I'm down here. However, he says, no, in that case, I'm always in the yard. You, you're never on the roof. So I don't know whether to be private or not. So therefore, when it comes, since I don't know, therefore, you have to go ahead and build a fence. 
right? I, I, on your roof that you put up. But when it comes to you, you always know I'm out here. So therefore, there is no question of whether I'm out here. So therefore, there's more of a reason. So as you just pointed out, there's a little bit like you were saying before. So it's one-on-one, -on -one, but like, the point is that since I'm sometimes private, it makes it that uncomfortable that I don't know when I'm private or not. So therefore, he can force the neighbor to go ahead and put up a wall so he can't see into his courtyard on his roof so he can't see into his courtyard. Six feet tall. No, no. As opposed to just ten, ten feet tall. For danger. Correct. Yeah. All right, we'll stop here. What is the last line? What? Right, so the Maka, so that's Eddie was talking about. So that's 10 fuck. But over here, it's even dollar amps. It's even more than it's normal. Yeah. Right, that's the minimum. Who's the last line of all? Well, so why is that a, why is, I don't understand, why is that a reputation? So it is, has like,